Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do guys and welcome back to Edgar TV, where today we're going to look at a novelty dartboard, and I don't mean this one. This is novelty in itself. I mean, but yeah, um, a normal dartboard, twenty sections, trebles, doubles, singles, ball twenty-five. You know how a dartboard works by now. But what we're going to look at is we're going to look at a novelty dartboard, which is this one. And if you're thinking I'm super strong and I just lifted the dartboard up, I forgot to do the intro, so I'm doing it backwards. So yeah, um, we've got this snooker, so just pretend, play along, play along. We've got this snooker dartboard today, and uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look in the box and see what comes with it. So you can see there's other types of novelty games. We've got this golf one, but this one's the snooker board. So what's inside? What's this? Some pins. It's like some normal pins there, pins. Don't know what they're for, but I'm guessing that'll be in the rules. Um, on the back here, it says how to play snooker darts. I wonder if it's for the school board. We'll have a look in a minute, we'll have a look in a minute. What else we got? Oh, we've got a bag of sweets. No, don't eat them, guys. Do not throw away, it's gel. It, don't eat it. Ignore me. That's just... Yeah. Let's have a look. Anything else? No, it was the board. Oh. Stuck in there a bit. Come on, mate. Oh, oh, we've got some fittings there. Cool. I tell you what, that looks cool. That is super cool. Now, guys, this is a normal size dartboard. I can tell that already. The segments are actually, I'd say, are the size of maybe two bullseyes. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? I reckon the pins are for this bit. And obviously we've got the balls. The balls are all the same size by the looks of it. They don't seem other than this red one here. They don't seem any different. I don't think that, like say, the black one's any smaller. Should we have all this look next to it, to a normal dartboard, see what it looks like in relation to the bullseye for one of these balls? Okay, so I'm going to take a pound coin, guys, and that is the size of these circles, of the balls. I can rest it on top because it's got a couple of staples in holding it in because you haven't got the spider wire coming in like a normal board like this. So it's the size of a pound coin. Obviously, because like I say, if you take that off, the staples, are, it, a pound coin would slip in there perfectly. Just to show you in relation to the bullseye, here's the normal bullseye, completely dwarfs by the pound coin. So it's probably about two, maybe three bullseyes size per ball. I just want to work out how to play it. And there it is, it's on the board. And this is the right way up, obviously, because the writing's the right way. So uh, I've had a quick look at the rules. And you start off with nearest to the pink. Uh, as in like as in nearest the ball um, and then what I'm gathering is I need to hit a red ball with three darts uh, and then from the moment I hit that I've got three darts I think to hit a different colour I don't know how snooker works I'm really I'm really trying but it says hit a red then hit a colour hit a red and I don't like reading either so I skimmed it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it how I think it is but I'm not going to mash it too much I've not really had a practice either at the moment, so this could go anywhere. Uh, but the, the idea is I've got to hit a red, and then I don't foul by hitting the same colour. But I've got to nominate what I'm going for. So if I say red, then I nominate black. Then I not. I think black's the highest one, but it's probably safer to go down here, because then you're not going to foul. Maybe I'll go red blue. Let's have a go. That's a red, so I, I nominate a colour. I'm going to go blue. I'm going to go blue. Okay, so I did that, so now I'll go red again. But I guess that, that's what the pins are for, isn't it? Because you can't pop the same red. I get it. So, I stick a pin in that one because that one's been used. I get it. Makes sense already. So that red, and now nominate a colour. Just name a colour, you pick it. Uh, green. Green. There we go, perfect. Okay, pick another red, I'll have that one. Right, I get it, this is quite fun actually. You won't get much of a turn because I'm just gonna smash this to pieces. I don't think you'd even get a go. I'll, and then I've scored point. I don't know what I've scored because I don't know, I've scored something. Right, let's have a, I've hit a red, haven't I? Do you want to name a color? Pink. Pink. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, you'd have a go now, but yeah. That, that looks quite fun actually. And then I guess that you've got to put the pins in in order because they'll be in order, won't they? Like yellow first, then brown, blue, green. That looks pretty fun. Guys, if you understand snooker, you might find that that's quite a fun little game. 
another good selling point actually to this dartboard, which I don't think was intended. Now, when we first start playing darts, we we learn the vertical lines before we learn the horizontal lines. And one good thing about this for any beginners or startup players is the black ball, some of the red balls, the pink ball, the blue ball, the brown ball, and this red ball down at the bottom are all on that vertical line. So actually, when we're training, we're starting playing, this line is the one we need to get. So other than these two balls, everything's on that vertical line. That is a really good training aid if you're a beginner as well to get you throwing straight darts and not worrying about the treble or other distractions. And there it is. And I tell you, it's quite hard wearing because you can't even see the knocks. So uh, obviously you're not gonna be able to rotate this board, but it's quite hard wearing. I'm not gonna play on it anymore because I don't wanna mash it up because what we'll do is we'll put this on tomorrow's In Bed With Edgar as a giveaway. But that's a fun little game especially if you understand the rules of uh, snooker. So if you like this, guys, and you feel like you want to get yourself one, I'll put a link in the description below so you could buy one of these. These are made by Bulls. Um, there's a, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to Amazon and purchase one of these boards. They're about £50, but they come... That's obviously with free postage. Uh, but, yeah, I'll put it in the description below. Um, also, if you want this exact board, guys, I will put this up as tomorrow's prize for In Bed With Edgar. So my Patreons are automatically in for this board. You can get in tomorrow by getting one of those 10 quiz questions right, or you can get in by a £2 raffle ticket. I'll put the PayPal in the description below if you'd like to get yourself in to win this snooker dartboard. Excellent little bit of kit, guys. If I knew what I was doing, I reckon that would be really fun. Edgar TV. What a fine review that was, Matthew Edgar, and that makes me want to hit the subscribe button, and so should you. Hit that subscribe button, join the Edgar Nation. The links are in the description for what you need, so In Bed With Edgar for tomorrow's live stream is in the description, as is that PayPal if you'd like to get your opportunity to try and win this dartboard.